Hello. Thank you for joining. How are you today? Thank you for joining. How are you today? Hallelujah. Thank you for joining. How are you today? Welcome to a time of prayer. Grateful, we is grateful. Someone type, thank you, Jesus. Someone type, thank you, Jesus. Yes, I'm grateful, Obina. I'm grateful to God. Are you grateful? Why not type thank you Jesus? Why not type thank you Jesus? Why not type thank you Jesus? Glory to God. Glory to God. Once again, thank you for joining prayers today. How I don't know if you can type in the comment section. I think a good thing to say today is thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is good and kind to me. I think that's a wonderful thing to say today. God is good and God is kind to me. God is good and God is kind to me. God is good and God is kind to me. Praise the Lord. God is good and God is kind to me. Quickly, let's read from our devotional. If you're yet to get your devotional, download the Harvesters app. The devotional is free on the app. If you want to share the link with your friend, go ahead and share the link with your friend quickly and let them know that we're about to pray. We're about to thank God. And today, the title of our teaching today, and I know that some of you are looking at different days, but I'm just following it from the day of the fast, day five. How to change your outcome by faith. How to change your outcome by faith. The Bible says, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. The entire Christian life is faith days, from the beginning to the very end. God needs, we need, you need faith to accept Jesus Christ as the Son of the living God. You need faith to, to believe that he died and resurrected for the remission of sin. This singularly means that faith is a journey and faith is the assurance of the believer. I'm just jumping right now. The way to change unfavorable, unfavorable circumstance is to first seek what God's word says in that situation. Meditate on the word until light dawns on your heart. And let me say what I mean. This is someone says, how do I build faith for change? The thing is that faith comes by the word of God. You have the faith of God inside you. So as you go into the word of God, the word of God is full of the faith of God. That's very powerful. The word of God is full of the faith of God. So as you go into the word of God, guess what happens to you? Faith begins to build up on the inside of you. So you meditate on the word of God until revelation, assurance, build up on the inside of you. And you begin to pray from that area. Glory to God. Glory to God. Once again, today, we're going to spend time just thanking God because it's good. And let me tell you something. 
This is what I wanted to thank God for. Father, thank you because you pay attention to me. That's a powerful prayer. Father, thank you because you cover me. Father, thank you because you pay attention to me. Let's go ahead and thank him, everybody. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, once again, we've gathered together to pray. The Bible says this, unto thee that answer prayer shall all flesh come. Father, thank you because you pay attention to me. You pay attention to me. You pay attention to my wife. You pay attention to my children. You pay attention to our ministry. Father, thank you for being good, for being kind to me. Father, I am extremely grateful grateful. Thank you for paying attention to me. Father, thank you because you pay attention to me. Lord, I give you the praise and the glory. I thank you because you have paid attention to my prayers. You pay attention to my life. You pay attention to our ministry. You pay attention to the assignment you've given me. Father, I'm grateful. You pay attention to NLP. Lord, I am grateful. Lord, I am grateful. Grateful. Thank you for paying attention to me. In Jesus' name, we're praying. The next thing we're going to pray about is this Father, thank you for the oh, thank you for forgiveness of sins and the gift of righteousness. Why are we thanking God for this? If God holds iniquity, we should stand. Father, thank you for the forgiveness of sins and the gift of righteousness. Let's go ahead and thank him, everybody. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I'm thankful for the forgiveness of sins and for the gift of righteousness. Lord, I am grateful. 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 I Father, I'm grateful. Lord, I am grateful. I'm grateful. Why am I grateful? Lord, I'm grateful for the forgiveness of sins. I'm grateful for the gift of righteousness. Lord, I lift up my hands in thanksgiving, thanking you. Lord, I lift up my hands in thanksgiving, thanking you. Lord, I'm grateful for the forgiveness of sins and for the gift of righteousness that I can stand before you, God. I can stand without any sense of inferiority complex. I know that I have no past that you are angry with. I know that you are happy with me. Father, Lord, thank you that you are happy with me. You rejoice in me. Lord, I am grateful. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. You can type in the comment section. Thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness of sin. It's such a beautiful thing to be able to thank God for the forgiveness of sin. The Bible says this. If God holds sin, it says, we will stand. Lord, thank you for the forgiveness. And the third thing you want to pray for, thank God for, is it? Lord, thank you for the progress I've made so far. Look at what you came for five years ago, one year ago, two years ago, three years ago. See how far the Lord has brought you. Some of you, you've migrated. See how the Lord has helped you. Some of you have gotten married. You've gotten pregnant. You have children. You've changed your job. You bought a car. You bought a new house. You moved into a new apartment. Your family is now together. Lord, thank you for the progress I've made so far. I want you to lift up your voices and let's go ahead and bless him, oh God. Lord, thank you for the progress I've made so far. You can type it in the comment section. Lord, thank you for the progress. Lord, in Jesus' name, I refuse to be ungrateful. I refuse to be forgetful. Lord, I remember where you brought me from. I remember where you brought me from. Is this not me? I know where you brought me from. Lord, look at where you have brought me to. Father, I thank you for the progress I've made so far. Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. La buko sa prato na maya. Ele gorasha pros kapala manante. E guste prose zeke de baroda. Zeke bere ke dole masuse. E paloske paloske paloske. Shile ko paroda mangros kata. E gele griso pra kapalo ndaya. Lord, thank you. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the progress I've made. I'm grateful for the progress on behalf of myself, on behalf of my wife, on behalf of my children, on behalf of my family, on behalf of our ministry, on behalf of our church leaders. Lord, I'm grateful for the progress I've made. Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm not where I used to be. Father, in Jesus, thank you for changing my levels. Thank you for changing my status. I am grateful. I am forever grateful. I am forever grateful. In Jesus' name we're praying. In Jesus' name we're praying. In Jesus' name we're praying. Remember, oh glory to God, you're not where you used to be. God has brought you this far. 
God has brought you this far. Lord, thank you for the progress. I'm going to say the prayer. And then I'm saying the prayer, you can type in the comment section. Lord, thank you for the progress I've made so far. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says you are the lifter up of our heads. It said, except the Lord watch the city, those that watch, watch it in vain. It said, except the Lord build the house, those that build, build it in vain. We walked out, but you gave us progress. We strategized, but you gave us progress. Oh Lord, we relay, we network, but you gave us progress. You are the one that gave us victory. The Bible says the horse is prepared for battle, but victory belongs unto the Lord. And Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for the progress we have made so far. Hallelujah. Lord, I'm thanking you for everyone that runs their business that have made progress so far. Lord, we're grateful. I'm thanking you for everyone that got a job. Lord, I'm grateful. I'm thanking you for everyone that got married. Lord, I'm grateful. I'm thanking you for everyone that migrated. Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm thanking you for every husband every wife, everyone that had a child, everyone that got engaged. Lord, I'm grateful. Everyone that bought a car, rented an apartment. Oh God, their business move on. Lord, we are grateful. We have come to return the glory. Lord, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Accept our things in Jesus' name we're praying. Oh, glory to God. Lord, I'm grateful. 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 Thank you for the progress I've made so far. Thank you for the progress I've made so far. We are going to read today. We want to pray from two, two verses. Glory to God. If you've not shared the link with your friend, go ahead quickly and begin to share with them right now. Begin to share with them right now. Lord, I am grateful. I. What are you grateful for today? Lord, I'm grateful. I'm thankful for the progress we have made as an NLP family. I'm thankful for the progress of the Abuja Church. I'm thankful for the miracles at NLP. I'm thankful for how you're touching people in Canada, in the UK. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for approvals. I'm thankful for backing up your words with mighty signs and wonders. In Jesus' name, we're going to take the last series of prayer points right now. We're just about two or three prayer points, and we're going to go to Revelation chapter 3, in verse 8. Oh, glory to God. See what the Bible says here. It says, I know the work, I know thy works. Behold, see what Jesus said. He said, I've set the for thee an open door, and no man can shut it. Hallelujah. It says, I've set before you an open door. And no man can shut it. This is what you are going to declare. Listen to me. There are three types of doors. There are doors that you hold the hand on and you what? You will open it. The second thing is that there are doors that they open for you from the inside. The third one are automatic doors. Automatic doors open of their own accord. This is the first prayer. Every door that you are holding, every door that you are touching, let that door open unto you as you touch it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let's go ahead and pray. Let Bacho Kapaya, Barasso Kapaya, Le Gomena Sheprato Kapaya, Le Koshapora Nikos Kavava, Ebone Sheke Le Gonama, Shizora Bakatola Mataya, Ebanakura Mashamba Lamara, Bakura Mashamba Lamara, Ebekate Lega de Shepelo Goda. Let the doors open, let doors open, let doors open. Every door you're touching, let it open for you. Every door you're touching, let it open for you. Every door you're touching, let it open for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm Prophesying and declaring over someone here, every door you're touching, let it open. Soparo gataya, let every door open in the name of Jesus Christ. Skaparo skapale gratina bratoka skabara kaporo goto nembroske paramananate. In Jesus' name, we pray. This my prayer for you today. Every door that you are touching, every door you're touching in your business, in your marriage, in your family, as a person, in your finance, your career, let it open for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my shata la brakataya la kopa ya kata. Every door you touch will open for you. Every door you Bible says everyone that knocks the door is open. Every door you knock upon, the door will be open unto you. It will be a door of favor and a door of acceptance in Jesus' mighty name. The second thing we want to pray about is this: are doors that open automatically. The Bible says when Peter came out of prison. The Bible says the prison does open by their own accord. You are going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There are doors you, this year, there are doors you will not need to touch. As you approach them, they will open. Hey! There are doors you will not need to touch this year. I stretch forth my hands and prophesy to everyone that will receive it. This year, there are doors you will not need to touch. Just you approach it. They will open of your own accord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In your industry, in your city, in your country. I declare over you today. There are doors that as you approach it. They will open of their own accord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ligopa shoka pra 
Sokabaya, in a Korapata Moskapaya, it will open of your own accord. Marital doors, let it be open. Financial doors, let it be open. Doors of funding, let it be open. They will open of their own accord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the angel of God will do extra time. Like a Payako Satana, Lege Peruske Parada, Loske Poroska Barabadena, Erusha Kapalo, Eruska Papalo, Eruska Papalo, receiving the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Declare with me, I receive it. Declare with me that I receive it. Declare. Everyone in the comment section, write in the comment section. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. In Jesus' mighty name. All glory to God. I declare that doors open of their own accord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Doors open of their own accord. In Jesus' name. Doors open of their own accord. I don't know the kind of doors you want to be open, but doors open of their own accord. In Jesus' name. This 2023, you will testify of doors opening of their own accord. It was not something you did. It was God that orchestrated it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, grace will compel doors to open of their own accord for you. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. So kola mande kaba la bone ke skura matale bashande ka a shapala manakata. And as we begin to round up the prayer, this is what this is what the Bible says. It says, "Let our shaka bana matala man sande la bahaya." This is what the Bible says. He says, "Let your he says, let your will be done on earth." As it is in heaven. This is a prayer I'm going to pray. My father, my father, let your will be done in my life. Hallelujah. I let your let, let your will be done in my life. Hallelujah. Lord, Lord, in Jesus' name. I don't want the will. I don't want just my will. I don't want the will of other people. I don't want the will of Satan. Let your will be done in my life. Doing this word of fasting and prayer. I don't want to ha uh, uh, man, uh, can, you, can I give you a prayer point? Lord, help me not to hurry ahead of you. Lord, help me not to hurry ahead of you. Lord, help me not to hurry ahead of you. Let your will will be done in my life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in Jesus' name, I'm praying, O oh God, that your will will be done in our life. We will not hurry ahead of God. I will not hurry ahead of God. Let the will of God be done in my life. I will not hurry ahead of God. Let the will of God be done in my life. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, name will pray this is my prayer for you that continually the will of god will be done in your life you will find yourself submitting yielding to the will of god in the name of the lord jesus christ receive the grace to allow the will of god flow freely in your life in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you heavenly father in jesus mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name we pray we're going to say the last prayer we want to pray for wine press we want to pray for wine press lord in jesus name we're praying for wine press we're praying that in this wine press everyone that attends will receive clear direction they will have encounters of the holy ghost we're praying everyone will receive direction and cast of the holy ghost and spiritual renewal that's what we pray for in this wine the bible says everyone that appears in zion shall go from strength to strength we're praying for wine press of god that one thousand souls will be saved in this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we're praying for wine press that there will be ten thousand people that will receive in the minimum financial miracle, career miracle, business miracle, approvals of all sorts. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, I'm praying that, that there will be three thousand five hundred people. Some of them are even listening to me right now. That you, the mark will be upon them. That is in this wine press, they will receive the marital breakthrough. In this wine press, two thousand five hundred healings and people that are seeking God for the children, for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for this. In Jesus' name we pray. 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 Please declare this with me. Please declare with I Thank you, Avisus London. All of you in London, we just want to let you know that at the service this weekend, praise God, the service we get in London, it will be powerful. It will be powerful. Oh, glory to God. The service we get in London, get in there. Join the service. It's going to be powerful. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen, I, I see the Lord telling people that feel discouraged and depressed about their lives. God is saying to me that change your focus. God is saying to tell you, change your focus. He said, the reason why you're depressed is that you keep looking at what is not going well. He said, there are a lot of things that are going well in your life. He said, change your focus and look at what I've done. And guess what? When you focus on what is going well, it multiplies. Whatever you focus on multiply. There's someone that has a shoulder problem. The Lord is healing you right now. Someone has a shoulder towards the neck. The Lord is healing you right now. In Jesus' name. Someone has a tooth the problem. The Lord is healing you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There's a woman that has a pregnancy issue and is struggling and the Lord is touching 
touching you right now and you receive your miracle in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We we'll thank you because this is done. We we'll thank you because this is done. We we'll thank you because everyone that is suffering from depression, we command that the joy of God will fill your heart in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That the joy of God will fill your heart in Jesus' name. Can I do the final thing today? Put in someone's name in the comment section that you want us to pray for. And I'm going to just pray about it. Put in someone's, someone's name in the comment section you want us to pray for. Someone's name, some, something you want to be prayed for. Put it there right now. I'm going to start praying. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Bako Shata Labanama. Lord, I'm praying for everyone that they are putting their name in the comment section. Every prayer need that is put in the comment section. The Bible says, if two or three of us agree concerning anything, it shall be done for us. I'm praying concerning every name that is being put in the comment section. I'm praying about every need being put in the comment section. I'm asking that if it's a case that there's a demonic interference, let such be cancelled in Jesus' name. I rebuke you, devil, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And right now, in Jesus' mighty name, right now, in Jesus' mighty name, I'm praying that every name typed, every case mentioned, they receive a miracle. In Jesus' name, all of you that type in names and put in things there, receive a miracle by the power of God. Receive a miracle right now in Jesus' mighty name. Receive a miracle right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 It's done. It's done in Jesus' name. It's done in Jesus' name. Once again, thank you for joining me. Remember that um, if you want to join any of the prayer NLP groups or you want to join an harvesters group in the US and the UK, you can see some of the handles popping up in Australia, in Canada, anywhere, in Kenya, in South Africa, in Ghana. DM me. You can DM me or you can just go ahead and join what they call it, the Instagram there's a group where we pray and encourage people. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Thank you so much for joining today. Sunday service in the first service, I will be praying on goals. So you want to come to the first service with your goals. And in the fourth service, we will be discussing on how to have clarity in life. This is very important if this is what you want for yourself. Praise God. Thank you for joining today. God bless you in a million ways. Congratulations. Doors are opening for you of their own accords. Amen.